Now, back to Coastal Living on KZTV. Welcome back, everyone. You're watching Coastal Living. We have some special guests here. Please welcome Maurice and Savannah from the Corpus Christi Rehabilitation Center. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Thank for, you having for having us. us. So last time you were here, we were talking about fall risk, fall prevention. There are ways to be more aware of your surroundings, to be more physically agile, if you will, to ensure that those things are less likely to happen. But today we're talking about brain injuries because Brain Injury Awareness Month is coming up, correct? Yes. Right okay, so tell us a little bit about that. So brain injuries, when we started researching more about our fall injury prevention, we realized that there is actually a lot more startling statistics related to brain injuries in general. Mm -hmm. For instance, while you're filming the show in that one hour, 15 Texan people will have suffered a traumatic brain injury. Really? Yeah. So just in Texas? Yeah, just in Texas alone. It's estimated like 2% of the U.S. population is somehow dealing with the rehabilitation needs after having a traumatic brain injury. Interesting. And what are the stats? Is there a most common type of brain injury or are we talking about a pretty versatile? It's actually, they're categorized into two different categories. There's traumatic and non-traumatic. So mm -hmm. your traumatic would be like what you would think about with a car accident. Yes. Those type of events. Uh, but there's also the non-traumatic. So those are people who have infections in the brain or anoxic or decreased oxygen to the brain at mm -hmm. any point. Those types, Alzheimer's, mm -hmm. um, Parkinson's, all those strokes. Sure. So if you add all of those in, it's actually much, much higher. Interesting. Okay, so there's a few different types to think about, and we're looking at some images here to sort of give you an idea of what we're talking about. Um, tell me about your hospital's recent achievement when it comes to brain injuries. So our leadership team uh, at the end of 2018 uh, started to notice that we had an increase in the amount of patients that were being admitted with brain injuries. Mm -hmm. And we also noticed that a large number of that population were having to go to some of the larger cities like Houston and San Antonio to speak, seek specialized care uh, and services. Uh, so we decided to uh, work towards obtaining uh, brain injury certification with the Joint Commission. Okay. Um, and so as of December 2019, Corpus Christi Rehabilitation Hospital is the only hospital in South Texas uh, to be awarded that certification. Awesome, congratulations. Thank you very much. That's great. Thank you. Okay, so are there some common ways, maybe some basics for our viewers at home to understand what's available to them if they do suffer from brain injury? What type of treatments are we looking at? So locally, um, of course, we have the uh, acute care treatment, some of the local hospitals that we have. Mm -hmm. um, but now with our recent certification, uh, we have uh, interdisciplinary care uh, with therapy, nursing, um, and then we have some internists and uh, specialists available. We have a clinical neuropsychologist who heads up our brain injury team as well, mm -hmm. uh, just to kind of uh, reel our patients in and really focus on uh, what uh, rehabilitation and recovery will look like after uh, the initial diagnosis. Absolutely, because I imagine it depends on where the placement of the injury is, whether it's speech or mobility, or I'm sure there's a lot of different categories, memories and things like that that it can tap into. So I'm sure you have a lot of different sort of antidotes for that, right? Exactly. Right. Um, so tell me, how were we able to raise more brain injury awareness? It's coming up in March, you said? Yeah, March is Brain Injury Awareness Month, but mm -hmm. actually in Corpus on February 25th, the mayor has gonna sign a city proclamation announcing that March will be Brain Injury Awareness Month in Corpus Christi. Awesome. So Way, y'all are making some big strides here trying, in Corpus Christi. Trying. That's wonderful. We're happy to hear about it. So you mentioned the 25th, that big event. Is it something that's open to the public? Are we having a big celebration for it? Right, so it's going to be free to the public. Mm -hmm. uh, we're hosting a social at our hospital, Corpus Christi Rehabilitation Hospital. Um, it's going to be from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Okay. Uh, it is, as you mentioned, free to the community. Mm -hmm. And we're excited to announce that we will have uh, some local community leaders uh, present to help us celebrate. Amazing. Well, I think it's absolutely something to celebrate and especially a big advancement for your company for the Coastal Bend because it's tough. A lot of people having severe heart issues, dealing with cancer, or brain injury feel like they do have to get out of the coastal bend to find the people that are suitable to help them. Exactly. So with brain injury awareness, what are some things that we need to be aware of at home? Say you're in a situation, you're in a car accident and you did hit your head or your son or daughter is in a sport and they suffer from a concussion. What are some of the preliminary precautions that we want to take if something like that happens? Of course, if your kids are involved in sports, safety. Make sure you wear a helmet. Mm -hmm. If you're riding your motorcycle or kids are riding their bicycle, skateboarding, 
always safety, always protect your head as much as possible, of course. Absolutely. And okay. most importantly, also seek treatment, yes. right? Yes, uh, immediately. So you want it immediately. Right, exactly. don't move around too much, but also don't let them fall asleep. Right. Right, some things to think about. Okay, so let's get that info back on the screen so you all can help celebrate this big accomplishment. It's the Brain Injury Awareness Social. Lots of big strides happening in the Coastal Bend, February 25th from 6 to 8 at 5726 Esplanade Drive. Did I say that right? Yes, yes. 906 3700 for more information. It's free to the public and look up Corpus Christi Rehabilitation Hospital for more information if you know someone or if you need um, some help or you have more questions. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you all for joining you. us today. We are aware. We are super aware and we're happy that you came to join us and tell us about it. Okay guys, now coming up next we have not one, not two, but three queens in the house to talk about their rise to the top and how they represent their community the best way possible. We'll be right back on Coastal Living. <laughs> 